Good evening, YouTube. Chris Green again at Outdoor Fire Tech. See if we can get a little bit more work done on this. I'll go ahead and tell you, I have already hit this with the blowtorch, this connector going into this, into the block. And the only thing I can get loose is this. So we're going we're gonna to leave this muffler as is, this nipple that's sticking out right here. We're going to leave that as is until I can get it cleaned up and everything and then try to hit it again with some heat and back it out. So uh, we'll just set this muffler to the side in our box right here. And let's see here. Let's go ahead. Pull this flywheel off. And it is a it is three quarters. Oh, there we go. Oh, that, that came off easy. Someone must have had that off before me. Look, look how clean that is. All right, well, we'll set that to the side. And we'll pop this flywheel off. Let me get my rubber mallet. And we'll get a screwdriver to put behind this just to put a little bit of pressure. This is a knockoff tool for Briggs and Stratton so you don't mess your threads off. Up. Let's move y'all around here. There we go. Just like that. I'm pretty positive there's going to be points behind here. There's all the motors this is. I love this tool. Alright, let's pull the flywheel on. Yep. Alright, yeah, we got, our, we got our condenser in here and our points. So that's going to be, that's going to be real fun. Looks in good shape though. Looks in real good shape. This, the wires ain't even dry rotted on it. Let me see if I can get y'all in here to see this. The wires don't even have any dry rot. That's really good. That's just spider web hook to it. It's still rubbery. Alright, well good. No big less we had to worry about. What I'm trying to do is just get this broke down so I can get the get everything clean on it for us. But I'll set the flywheel out of the way. Let's see. Make us some room over here. All right. Now let's. break that wire that spark plug wire that, that's still that's still in good shape too look at that look at that look at that rubber I cannot I just I can't believe that most of the time when I tear these old motors they dry rotted alright oh it looks like this looks like somebody has had this part cause this bracket right here that holds the 
condenser on is not in the hole like it's supposed to be. Alright, let's go ahead. That looks like a 5 16 It is. Alright. Oh, that's loose too. That's loose. It wasn't even snug. There's one behind that wire. Let me see what I can do to get this wire out without. Because I don't want to damage it. It looks like I'm just. Okay. I can't believe that guys. I cannot believe how good shape this is in. Someone must have kept this put up. Look at that. It's not even, I wish I could show you. It's not even hard. It's soft still. Alright, enough of that. Let's set that to the side. Alright, let's get this other one off. This whole thing should. Should come off as one piece. Put these in here. And there we go. And there's our assembly right there. And then of course we'll unhook this clip right here and set your points in there. And there's your points inside. This is a piece that dry rides on your shaft and it on your uh, yeah your shaft coming out. Okay, yeah, there we go. I see it on there now. It's just like a cam. It's just like the lobes on a cam. Let's see if I can get y'all in here close. All right, I can't get my camera to zoom in right now. The zoom's not working. I got to get me a new camera, guys. But there's a there's a lobe on this shaft like a, a cam has. So every time it comes by, it opens up your points, opens them up, and closes them so it will spark. And that lobe is right there on the top of this. On top of this shaft. All right, guys, we're back. I apologize for the break in the video. I had something come up. I had to go take care of. Uh, this is now a couple of days later. I um, put my motor in my cleaning station and got cleaned up in the meantime. Uh, so let's get back at it. We're going to go ahead and... I don't think I'm going to take this thing completely apart. I'm just going to be taking the piss and the rings out. So let's get this thing turned over. There might be some fluid that comes out of it because I let it... I let it sit in a in my cleaning station. Let's see here. That looks like it's gonna be. Uh, looks like a five eight. Yep, it's a five eight.
This is two five eighths bolts holding this sump on oil pan, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's see if she's going to break free easily. Oh yeah, okay. See if y'all still see this good. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave everything together. Nothing's wore out in here. Seems to be a little bit of side to side play in that, but it's a little bit normal. See if I can get y'all in here so you can see this. Raise you up a little bit. Get you a little bit closer. Get you where you can look down. See if I can pull this closer so you can see a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and take them tabs off so we can pull this piston out. Here. I don't know why they done away with these <coughs> locking tabs on motors these days. I mean they stopped that early on. I'm going to look in my parts manual and see if that's supposed to be bent like that. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and get those off. I uh, see a 3 8 or 7 16 I think it's 7 16 It's okay to use an impact, small impact like that when you're taking it off. 
I would recommend when we put it back together. Because <laughs> it's going to have to be torqued back to the specifications that it calls for. And a small impact like that isn't too torquey. Take a picture of this uh, just for future reference. All right, let's get that pulled off. There we go. Smooth, beautiful, good. I was worried about that. There's not even no marks on it at all. I'll show y'all. Perfect. All right. Let's get this thing turned over. Let's get y'all pulled back to here. I'm gonna set this back onto the sump cover. All right. There is, I don't see any markings on I don't see any markings on this piston anywhere to say uh, which side it's supposed to go on. Let's see here. I'm going to get a punch and just put, we'll put a number right here. I'll let y'all see that. I stamped the number one on there and that's not going to mess, that's not going to hurt your piston at all. It's not going to mess with the compression or anything. These things come, these piston heads come with stamps on them sometimes and I'm going to put um, let's see here. I'm going to put a one right here. Because right here is where your gasket goes. And we don't want to put a punch mark on that because you need to have a good seal there. So I'm going to put a one right there. The reason why I'm doing this and not using a marker is because I'm going to be cleaning this unit. And I'm fairly positive I'll know how to put it back together the right way. I've worked on this before in the past. It's been a long time since I worked on Clinton, but I work on Briggs and Stratton's all the time, but I'm putting those there just in case. All right. Let's get her out. I'll reach up in there. Let's see here. I'll set this on the side. I'll reach up in there and just push on the push on it. If you do have to put something up there and tap on it, 
I recommend you use something, a piece of brass or a piece of plastic like this, and put it on the bottom of that piston arm. hitting on this hard guys just enough to there we go all right let's set her back on the sump just so she's easier to work with Alright, let's pull her out. Don't look too bad. My finger's not catching any of those spots on it. That just looks like surface wear. It does look like this has been hit, been hitting on something though. Can you see there's marks on there? Right in here. Or that could be in just when they put it together. Um, she looks good. Yep, so looks good. All right, I'll get this put in the parts washer and get it all cleaned up. Uh, I don't know if I said in my in the beginning of this video, I had bought a whole entire box of uh, Briggs and Stratton rings from a guy that was closing the business. Down. He had work on stuff back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and I got a whole entire box of just rings a whole box of rings and um, I bought, looked at the breakdown on this motor and well now I was looking through my box for some rings the other day and I, there was one box said Clinton on it and I told myself I said what are the chances that these rings go for this motor so I brought the breakdown up online and this is the rings for this motor. I mean, what are the chances of that? So, I don't have to buy rings like I was planning on doing. I have a set. So, uh, that's a plus. So, let's see here. What we got going on. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up. This piston. I'm going to get it cleaned up real good. And uh, buff this out. Like I said, it's not, nothing's deep in there. My finger nail don't even catch on anything. It's just uh, normal wear. I'll get this buffed out and get this buffed out on top and put her in my parts washer and get her cleaned up real good. And I'm gonna go ahead in the meantime and go ahead and clean this block out real good too. I'm not gonna take nothing else apart on it. The, I pulled a little bit off the other day before I put it in the parts washer and the roller bearings are in great shape. Everything's in great shape. I don't see no wear and tear down there anywhere. Alright. Oh, I keep forgetting that base. Let's get her turned around here like this, like so. Let's go ahead and pull that valve cover off. Looks like it is a 7 sixteenths as well. Come 
on for that booger. All right, that just screws out. Don't go pulling on it. Don't go putting screwdriver behind it or anything to chop right off because it is threaded. That is threaded in there, like so. I'll set that to the side. All right, these valves. Looks just like a looks just like Briggs. All right, let's go ahead and take them off and see. Once I get this out, I'll show you how that goes on. Let's pull it out. Pull the spring out. Make sure you get down off of the... You know what? I'm going to bring all down here so you can see exactly what's going on here. Clear up, clear up. There we go. Okay. There's a lip and it comes down. Maybe a flashlight. Maybe I can see a little bit if I do that. There's a lip that comes down right here. You're going to want to get your spring. Below that. Alright. You see the lip? This lip right here? Okay. I'm going to show you how this works here. Alright, you got your valve. Your valve and you got your spring, and then you have your keeper right here. It didn't like a Briggs and Stratton where this goes on, there's a notch that it slides down to. This just goes on like this. Once you get the spring compressed, you got this, it's like a C washer, it just slides onto the shaft like so, and then. Of course, the spring, when you release, will come down and hold it in just like that. Okay? Alright, I'll set this over here. Let's get the other side off. I 
time just about a little faster this way. five hands. That would be good with it. Clean that up. It looks like it has a if I remember correctly the X stood for exhaust. Alright guys, got that cleaned off. And I'll show you. The exhaust valve. Let's see if I can get a light shine on for you so you can see. The the exhaust valve has and the X on it. If you can see that, X. The intake, this one's going to be hard to see, guys, because there's some buildup on it. But there is, and I believe that's an I. There's so much buildup on it, it's an I for intake. See that? All right. So we know we can determine which ones those are now. My next thing I need to I need to see if these springs are the same. Yeah, they're the same. Okay. All right. So we'll put all that together. Spring keeper. I'm gonna keep my keeper right there with that and that. Two springs. They feel, they feel the same. Yep, they're the same. Okay. Get those washed up. And let's see here. I'm not going to mess with the governor or anything like that because it's, probably set it right and I really don't feel like messing with that as of right now once we get everything back together if it's not running right if the gutter is acting weird I'll take it off then or I'll reset it but I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up really really good uh, maybe my next clean motor I work on will do a, a full tear down there's a lot involved getting them all in bearings and let's see what inside this. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad at all. Let's see if I can show you. It's a little bit of score marks on it. Not much though. And it's smooth. It's real smooth. I'll still hone that out a little bit. We'll get all that cleaned up. I'll, I'll get her cleaned up really, really nice, guys. And uh, I'll probably go and work on trying to get this pipe out of here so I can get that all cleaned up, exhaust and everything. I'm going to go ahead and give get all these gaskets off of here. So next time we come back, she'll be cleaned up really, really good. And I'm not going. I'm not going to tear this completely down, sandblast it, and 
repaint it and replace all the bearings, everything, because everything, everything's the bearings are great in it. We'll just replace the gaskets. We'll hone it out. We'll put new rings on it. Then we'll start putting it back together. My next uh, Clinton motor that I do, I have another one in my shop that I picked up the other day for 20 bucks. The next one that we'll do, we'll do a full tear down all the way. We'll tear down the whole inside. We'll take off that bearing plate, pull all the bearings out. Um, and we'll do, we'll look at the bearings, make sure they're okay. But I, I know the motor's great, I know the bearings are good, but still I'll, I'll tear it down just so y'all can see how to tear it down and put it back together. But we'll leave it at this. I'll go ahead and get all these things, all these parts in the parts washer. And we'll see y'all next time. I uh, hope y'all have a blessed day. And um, I figure I'll just do this motor on the side. Um, I know it doesn't have nothing to do with... Uh, lawnmowers and stuff like that per se um but uh, i just figured y'all want to see this older motor i might start gearing my channel more towards these older motors working on these flatheads if that's something y'all would like for me to do just let me know like i said there's the last video maybe i talked about it at the beginning of this video but there's the old flathead brick strat and i've done a complete tear down sandblasted uh repainted uh, new rings new seals new gaskets got a new clutch in the other day to go on my daughter's mini bike they were working on but if y'all like this kind of stuff and want me to keep doing older stuff like this just let me know i'll still have newer stuff uh, once season comes in i'll start having mowers and everything in i'll be uploading videos like that but anyways i appreciate it hope y'all have a blessed day until next time take care